Alrighty. Let's start a new story. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Shitty friends are shitty. Class Prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. What I don't get is why does Sam go here instead of going to the bedroom to stop? Uh, Beth from- wait no, Hannah. not Beth. Hannah from getting <laughs> pranked on. I just don't get it. <laughs> She's here! Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Weekend. Not at all concerned. Hello. Oh, hello. Jer Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. How are, is he even comfy sleeping like that? That just looks like your neck would hurt afterward. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Wow. He even did a smiley face. And three X's. Oh. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Everything she's not supposed to. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Hannah, he said a little making out, not take off your top. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, Let's all get out of here. Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, man. You guys are jerks. 
Yep. You know that? Dick friends are dicks. Anna? Why are they friends? Oh wait, this is a horror movie trope. <gasps> what should I do, Desi? Wake Josh or find the others? I don't know. Pick one. I'm the blonde. I'd pick the wrong one. <sighs> Fine, I'll wake Josh. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Nope. Passed out unconscious. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What Excellent voice do? acting there. You're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! There's like no Hannah. one's gonna go into the so blizzard to go find him. Should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh shit! All right, what do we do? Fast or safe? I'll do fast. You haven't been running that long and you're already out of breath? Definitely not following that noise. We're gonna go follow the footprints. Oh, hi. Hey, dear. Hi, dear. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Watch your fucking mouth, young lady. Shut off the music. Okay. Hannah! Because no one has time for that shit. Walk in the world in the dark. What could possibly go wrong? Little faster. Panic. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, boy. Okay, seriously, if I saw flames, I would just be shitting a brick and going, Nope, Hannah's dead, going back to the cabin. Hannah! <laughs> That's just me, though. <laughs> yeah, seriously, nope, nope. What the hell was that? That was a big bag of nope. Let's go back Hannah. to the cabin like a normal person. Hannah! Hello? And this dumb broad. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Let's run out into a snowstorm. In a t-shirt. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so dumb. Something's hunting us. Hannah? Beth? <laughs> Hannah! Way to go.
Hey, look, it's a friend! He's offering us a hand! Alright, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, fuck it. This is bad, and this is jackass! I'm going to have to say that. They're both dead. Yep. All sorts of dead. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have Until to accept time in travel. order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Does he creep you up, Blondie? Hello. So, you have committed to commence with this game. If this it is did. significant. And I want to help you see it through. Yep, I... Sometimes. I've decided to proceed Sometimes with this game and open a scary. big bag of regrets. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, okay. It's essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Creepy. All right. I'm wearing a glove. Okay. Creepy. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. How did that picture make you feel, Blondie? Mm -hmm. First th thing that comes to mind. Strange, I guess. So it makes you feel uneasy? Yeah, I guess so. Alrighty. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, the scarecrow's creepy. What about you, Blondie? Yeah, I agree. Scarecrow? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. So, would you be able to stay in that barn for a week if the scarecrow wasn't there? No, I'm fucking alone. Screw you. Okay, so no. Oh, no? Why not? Well, you said it, because you'd be lonely. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Okay, then. Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel... What if I don't wanna? Creepy man is creepy. Yeah, there's no music cuz copyright. Blah. Cuz if cuz I'm live streaming, so anyone if I was playing music, then they could monetize my video. Mm. Even though I'm small time and not even making any money off of these. 
Okay. Yep. Pierce Domer. Rami Malik. Yeah, someone was a Tolkien fan when they had their kid. I mean, Galadriel Steinman. Was it Steeman? I, I didn't quite catch it. I was just paying attention to Galadriel. I wish I could play music. I like the music. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Hi. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond Hi. awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Josh, you really gotta get new friends. <laughs> so, um, let me just let Sam's you know, okay. uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know Elephants are all more probably like Godzilla. worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! So we're going to party like porn stars, I guess. Okay. We're going to party like porn stars, Blondie. Oh, okay. You're boring. Sorry. Welcome to Blackwood's Pie. One, Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Oh, creepy. I have a baby. Please put my cat down. <laughs> Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, and adventurous. First contestant of Survivor. <laughs> Hello? Someone there? Nope. Definitely not. Nope. 
Walking, walking, oh so lovely walking. Keep them doggies moving, rawhide. I'm okay, I swear. Ooh, a pretty gate. And there's shiny things in the distance. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, what? The gate's busted, <sighs> climb over, Chris. Oh, so that was his flight instructions. Oh, okay. So we're gonna keep it. Let's talk on it. Chris might be a liar. Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> Apparently Chris isn't a liar. Alright. Uh, we claim this wall, if I remember right. Yeah. Alright, let's climb. Let's do the quick way. Because I need to brush up on my button mashes. Because I haven't played this in months. Ah, uh, we're gonna jump. I haven't played this in months, and I'm probably a little rusty. Let's see who I kill because I'm rusty. Yeah, so let's just stand on top of the wall, because that's safe. Do 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 do. Still walking. All this fucking walking. Okay, now I gotta hold still. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't move, don't move, don't move. Could be a matter of <laughs> life and death. The squirrel might kill me. No? Okay. I'm gonna name that squirrel Squeakers. I hope Squeakers will live through the night and not be violently eaten. <laughs> cool. All right, Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Whatever, yada yada yada. Death. Black butterflies prophesize, prophesize the dreamer's death. That's creepy. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Alrighty. So what do we got here? Romantic parties. Okay. Unravel, 1999. That's a yellow one. So what do we got? A bird? And it'll look like Mike. I think it'd be a dick to the bird. Please don't be a dick to the bird. Hello! It's creepy, it's so creepy. Ooh, shiny. Gave me the sparkly. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. The past is beyond our control. How ominous is that? Ooh, it looks like it's in blood. Yes, I think it's a shred plant. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, Chris? Chris? Here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? I wonder who's calling. Alright, do we snoop? We'll close the bag. Hmm. Maybe I won't be a dick today. I'll close the bag. Maybe I shouldn't know about Chris's stuff. Chris! Where's, where Sam, is Chris? Hey, you made it. Hi, Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. 
Okay. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Okay, then. Sparkly! Want him. Oh, Wanted. Milgram nice. Victor. Mail, 6 2, last one. known address, Blackwoods Pines. Oh, come yada, yada, on. Yada. Of the year. Comes up here. Okay. It's a weird looking wanted poster. Alright, what do we got? Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Okay. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. Alrighty. All right, let's see. What are we gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna shoot this. We're shooting out a tin can. Oh, hi. You just got sacked. Wow, nice shooting ticks. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm going to go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Uh, I'll shoot that bottle. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Squirrel. One of its squeakers. Hi, squeakers. I'm going to name you squeakers. Probably is squeakers. I'm not shooting a squirrel. His name is squeakers and he's my friend. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Dweeb. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Seriously, how many bullets are in that thing? I would have taken it with. Alright, let's see. Anything over here? No? Alright. Maybe? Coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Yeah, how you guys were dicks. Sam doesn't know how to find Hannah in time. Hey, well, Chris weird. was okay. He was passed Why's out that? on the bar. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Let's unlock the door. After you. A oh, real gentleman. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I that'd be a wreck. Well, Let's explore. Well, I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He's been going through so much, and he seems. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. They didn't technically buy the mountain. They bought the land on the mountain, but yeah. Let's go sit. Hey, is that a bathtub? Huh? Oh, okay. Creepy. Sleeping giant. You gonna publish? 
What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Oh, that's <laughs> off. <laughs> Well, that dialogue was like off. One of the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting. Well, it's already too, bit, too late to go back now. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. Kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Such a romantic love story. Still a better love story than Twilight. That Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Creepy, creepy, creepy. All sorts of creepy. Hello. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident. Trusting. Irrever irreverent? Okay. Strange. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh god, did Atomic Ass Abby strike again? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Oh, God. Uh, are you guys having a really weird Atomic stroke? Ass Abby is We're the name I have for my thing. cat. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Because when she, no matter what litter we get, she still can probably hospitalize a small child. Oh my God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, for shit. For shadowing. Well, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um... Let's explain. No point Mike in keeping it a secret. Split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. Ends out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? No, they just want to listen to you, bitch. Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful. Persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, he's wearing a letterman's jacket. You know, 
And where's the bellboy when you need one? <laughs> You're looking at him. He's carrying your bags. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I'm definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> That would be the kind of shit I would do. Right, Blondie? Mm -hmm. yeah, cute. Oh god, your oh, ass god. stinks, Michael. Abby. You really, really should have seen your faces Wait, right, mommy. dude. I almost clocked you. No, so. mommy. <laughs> mommy, Michael, you're a jerk. Come on, hey. guys. We're all friends here, right? <laughs> no need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Welcome to Blue. <laughs> you wanna say hi to the people? Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. No. The spirit okay. of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Yeah, like don't what? be a bitch. The way you're being, you always get like this. Um. Let's not cause someone to be thrown off the mountain very violently, so I'm gonna say welcome. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. I ship it. Uh, <laughs> no. Seriously, you too. I'm gonna check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. <laughs> you gonna make out now? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Matt, please. Um. Do I be the good boyfriend? Or, well, kind of the submissive boyfriend? Or the good boyfriend and not let her go alone? What do you think, Blondie? Well, this is all I'm looking at. If he's creeped out, then he probably shouldn't leave her alone. Hmm. Well, it's too early for anyone to die. Well, except for Hannah and Beth, but... Meh. Um... Fuck it, I'll persist. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out, and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Jesus. Um, I'll try to be the good boyfriend. Okay. Protect my girlfriend. Fine. Whatever you want. She flip shit at me. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Guys, it's not his fault. Never. She was the bitchy one. <laughs> Alrighty, what do we got? <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Okay. She got a pretty ring on. So, what do we got? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, <laughs> well, hello. Hey, oh. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, what? Matt. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's 
What are you looking at? I think it's safe to turn the sound back on. Because I don't think they can copyright that. Okay. Do that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, Alright, do I mislead or encourage? Tell him that his girlfriend M is kind of an ass. He needs no. Alright, I'll encourage it. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Sorry. Matt. You need to know. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. I'll read a book. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Do ya? Do ya? Really? Not to retaliate. What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> and boom! Oh! Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh! Ah! Hey! Boom! Hey, hey, bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, 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 bird. Hello! Come on. Alright. Hey, Mike! Boom shakalaka! Okay. Oh, you got me. Boom shakalaka! <laughs> That's lame. Bird. Is it a bird, 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 bird? Is it a bird, bird, bird? I know all your tricks. I'm not gonna hit the bird. But we're going to hit Mike. Whoa! Oh. Right. Find you just. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Mm. I'll kiss this handsome mug. Only if I can kiss Jessica. Jessica's kind of hot. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> That's what she, get she up to the said. Lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Status update. I don't want to look at it. I do what I want. Hi, Dr. Hill. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Oh, pretty good. Can I sit in that chair over there? 
I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. Yeah. I think I did pretty okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. But Not I don't want to. book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. I am the embodiment of anxiety. But, okay. Um... I'll say... Eh, men worry me, I guess. Okay. Um... I don't like crowds. I don't fear heights, so I guess I fear drowning? I actually don't mind snakes or rats. But if it was that specific snake... Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, um... I think I would rather get shot than get stabbed, so... Knives. Nope. 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 Fuck cockroaches. Shit, fuck clowns. Oh, fuck, Jesus, clowns. No. fuck clowns. Fuck clowns. Fuck. Fuck. The fuck them. I'm trying. I'm trying. I guess gore disgusts me, even though I don't. Eh. I work in a hospital. I don't oh. mind it. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. All right. I hate cockroaches, so let's get rid of them. No needles. Bad needles. I agree. Why does it keep popping to him? I just want to answer. Fuck clowns. Fuck clowns. No one likes clowns. Anyone who does is a freak. Alright, get rid of needles. I like dogs. Even the wolf. Needles. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. Okay. Cockroaches, clowns, and needles. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> no! I don't want a good uh, Friday night. Well, I'm afraid. That, that again, sounds like a terrible Friday night. I promise. We'll talk again very soon. Previously on Until Dawn, like I haven't been playing it for God knows how long. Forty-nine minutes. This is a little bit. Oh, come on. No. She deserves it. Hannah. <coughs> What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just She's a going prank, somewhere. Yeah. Creepy knife thing. No. <laughs> Both violently die. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals Josh is back attractive. to the annual Blackwood like Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. So now I am apparently playing Until Sam. Dawn with my roommate and my cat. Bitch! So I got moved to the back and me? next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. This is my kitty cat. This is his kitty cat. <laughs> Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? Type of two, jealousy. Hi, Josh. <laughs> you look stoned. He does. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, loving. Aw, he's loving. 
Even though the sun is out. Come on, you Let me hug this. you. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I what, like your parents job. don't? Oops. Hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Matt's a little pissy because his girlfriend's a bitch. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Um. You know what? I'm worried about Josh, so let's worry. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just. I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Like we always Damn used it. to. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like <coughs> get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's His neck just did a weird thing. The place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um Lead the way, Cochise. I actually looked up what Cochise was. I guess that's a Native American. Native American chief. I didn't know that. Hey, I learn something new every day. Um. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna boost Chris's confidence. So let's be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. <laughs> Alright, onward! To victory! Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like okay. a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? to do that to me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Or am I? Um. Sure. Matt. No. Absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? Like <laughs> the more you say Come bone on, zone, the less people are actually gonna want to sleep with you. you. As it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, okay. You come in for That's the kill. It. Um. All right, sure, why not? Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Do you? Do you really got it? Who knows? So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Kochi, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cold buns. Hot cold buns, specifically. Mm, let's see, what do we got? What's this, sparkly? Yeah. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. Uh, I just had to turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside. Or I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff. And... Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, Dude, this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. <laughs> well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. even in that since it apparently weighs like 500 pounds <laughs> I 
let's watch this epic fail. Well, you're talented. Oh, I'm Josh's okay. hand just went into the windowsill. <laughs> pay more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. My question is, yeah. why does Josh oh, need okay. lighter? What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No. Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Okay, then. So, now we're going to wander around in the dark. So, we got a totem. Looks like a snake. Cool. All right, what do we got? Oh boy! Hi, Emily! So, Emily can burn to a crisp. Awesome. The fuck was that? Alright, what's this? So, what have we here? Okay. Alright, anything else in here? Or am I free to go? Spinny, spinny! Onward. Because, you know, Godspeed Pilgrim, apparently. Uh... Oh, hey, look! Huh? This is a really cool. dark photo. Okay then. Josh's dad looks weird. He needs to shave the pencil mustache. Huh? What the hell was that? Something. Spooks. Spooks, I tell ya. Alrighty. Let's see, what do we got? What's over here? Oh look, it's the front door! Totally on it. Don't you know? Don't you know, Desi? I'm on it. Seriously, what is breaking everywhere? Keep breaking shit. They need to stop. Let's explore a bit. Because I like exploring. Creepy. Why is everything covered in blankets? Like, never take it off the entire time they're here. So I apparently cannot go this way. Chris, get out of the corner. Also, get out of the closet. Now. Mm -hmm. Exploring, exploring. What's over here? Oh, look at TV. No power. Awesome. What else do we got? Ooh, I want to lay on that couch. Oh, 
What's in here? It looks like a dining room. It's a dining room. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. My thoughts exactly, Chris. Did I check this out? Okay. I guess not. Onward. So where am I going now? Let's do here. Apparently we can't go that way. Why are there always locked doors in the house? Aww. That's cute. Ready for seeing your prom? Hmm. You always forget like these guys are like twenty and under. I think the youngest I think the youngest out of all of them was like Jess or something. She was like eighteen. I think. See what's down here. It's creepy, oh creepy. What else could be possibly creepy? Alright, what do we got now? Picture of Josh with his sisters. Cape Cod. Josh with his lovely sisters, Hannah and Beth. Okay. Josh kind of looks like a dork in that picture, but okay. I'm done exploring for now. Let's go up the stairs. Alright, where am I going? Swinging window is creepy. Can't go that way? Okay. Can we not shut that window? No? Okay, I guess.
I was about to say that's a. <laughs> I was about to say that was a honey badger, and I would have been like, "Honey badger, don't give a shit." But I think that was a wolverine. Cause that's safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. Okay. Zone. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself Come at home, bro. Come on, Matt. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever I you want. I sense some want, sarcasm. Right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Um. Should I warn him to stay away from Emily or challenge? Because I saw him and him and M. Come on, you're supposed to be my co-host. Is his girl, so. Challenge? Just warn him. Mm, okay. We'll do warn. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Um. Attack. Quit being a dick or back off. Hmm. Try to back off because I don't want a fist fight in the middle of the living room. Yeah, not really. Alright, let's back off. Right. Right. Is this going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Hmm. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I'm seriously. They weren't even kissing. Any what are you talking about? Obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah. All a big cattle call with that dream boat. Cat <laughs> fight, cat cow. fight, Real cat fight. Miss Homecoming a cow. Um. Let's. Yeah, but I gotta be the good boyfriend and defend Emily. Cause I'm Matt now. I'll provoke the shit out of Jess. Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, okay. You can buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? You. Think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Um. <sighs> Let's. What the hell's going on with that TV in the background? See what? Oh, okay. Um, I, I'll stay on M side. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. 
You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not Thank what you, I Josh. Want. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Sorry, I yawned. Yeah. All right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's Ouch. Right up the trail. <laughs> right up the trail. Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? What bag? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Who Matt, cares are, are about the listening? stupid bag you got at Rodeo? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I you? Do you think I'd forget my bag? I guess not. <laughs> yep. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Well, you caved way too easily. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Random. Why do you want to take a bath so bad? Sexiled. Sexiled? <laughs> Such riveting dialogue. How far is this cabin anyway? This <laughs> cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your sure. cards right, maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. Why don't you be Talk a good there. host and fire it up uh, yourself, Josh? I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? I ship it. Wait, really? What? No. She was a little too excited for that. I would want a threesome. Someone specifically wanted a threesome with Josh. Not, not that I blame her. I mean, Josh is attractive. Mike's attractive too. Jess is attractive too. Emily, eh? She's attractive, but. My, her personality just basically makes my lady balls go, meh. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> totally read your mind. Okay. All right. Uh, that's creepy. Change your face. There oh we go. God. This is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio. At the my toes broken. Wink. Noted. Hmm. Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Totem. Totem. Where are you, Totem? Come to Papa. Totem. Light. Light. Totem. Totem. Give me the sparkly. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. 
Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Um. Okay, we're being the good boyfriend again. So, Emily's being a bitch. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Okay. So I think I did okay. Did good so far. All right, let's see. Totem, totem. I see sparkly. I saw sparkly. It's a sparkly. Ooh. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Hello, generator. Nice one, Mikey. There we go. You are a wizard. Yes, I am. Oh, hi. Kind of looks like the Zodiac sketches. You know the sketches when he has his hood on? You missed it, of course. Yeah. Shazam? Oh, Kazam. Okay. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Totally. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> Jess is special. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. It's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. Sexcapade? What are they, back in high school? What? My hand on Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Never blondie, I'm streaming. So everything you say is recorded. Um, let's be respectful. Well, whoever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. All right. What next? She swings her hips. Yes, she does. I think she's doing it for Mike. Here's my ass, look at it. What the fuck was that sound? Um, did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Okay. Let's just continue walking up the mountain where the creepy sound came from, but okay. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. Okay. But walking into a creepy mine is not what I would consider adventurous. It's not that dark. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Did you get out? Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything. Well, if you count her here. braids, I guess they're limbs. They seem to be whipping around. All right, I'm going to be heroic. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Whoa. Oh, that's not smart. Okay. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Alright. Help me move it, help me move it. Okay. I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> <sighs> 
<laughs> okay. Um. What else is here? Oh shit, what's that? What's that? What's that? Like you, big baby. Oh, Nelly, this place is giving me the worst. here, and not the good kind of willies. I see sparkly. We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. I have a totem. It's an owl. Look at it. It's an owl. Wait. Was that Jess in her panties? It was. It was Jess in her panties. Oh, okay. Creepy. Let's just nope in the other direction. Creepy. Huh. It's a dose. Weird place to hang out and smoke cigars. <laughs> it's recent. Wonder who's out there. Whoa. This place oh, is that's like creepy. Historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on now. <laughs> No, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? To your mom! I don't know. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. But what if we don't want to go? Oh, look, there's a map. Jesus. This place is a real fixer rubber. Okay. Yay, we made it! We're still alive! Totem? Totem? I don't think I've ever been down this way. Oh, look! What is that? A... A bird. Eagle. Something like that. Oh! Who's that? Jess? I think that was Jess. Oh boy. Sorry, Jess. You just saw your death one. Cabin. You know, when Josh said up the path, this is like way up the path. It's like up the mountain. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 
Wait till you see the Lincoln bedroom. Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Yeah. You take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the slum. Ooh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hmm, let's see. Uh, what's down there? Oh, Jesus! Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, look, you didn't have to pee. <laughs> Did you almost tinkle? Sampling the old eggnog again? Sorry, Blondie. I'm lucky I didn't have to awesome. shit either. Holy <laughs> shit, my pants. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe. <laughs> no mean or I said until dawn was scary. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. That's creepy. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> Okay. That was a really creepy face, Jess. Just saying. I was just flirting. Just, just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love for you. <laughs> I'm scared. I was scared. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Exploring, exploring. <sighs> God damn it, Josh. Can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Um. Yes. Ah! Yes. Oh boy. Sammy. What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh. Well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Josh could help me into the bath. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Okay. There's a door open. Let's go poke around. What could possibly go wrong? It 
sparkly all over the room. What's this? It is Hannah, Josh, and Beth. You are invited to Sam's Halloween party, October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress obligatory. Oh, hi. What's that postcard? Well then. Playing Freda Jaka. Love Josh. Aww. So what do we got? She had a crush much? She had it bad. into the closet now. Jesus, you could hang out in the closet. Huh. Hello, could this be any more about Mike? Mostly C's. Uh-oh, this is not going to work. Uh, he's like a crazy, like, reckless hunk of a man. And you're staying at home working on your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Give up on it, or do something like really wild, run away from home, or get a tattoo or something. Anything to attract his precious attention. I mean, it's for love, right? Just do it. That literally says love. Love. Oh my god, love. <laughs> oh my god. Merc. I love you. See what she got in her bed. Sparkly. Must be nice to be the daughters of movie producers. Mm. Wait, are you talking about the twins? Yeah. Piggy. Because we don't have the license to say Ouija. Yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time. Me and... Well... Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um... You sure it reminds me of my okay. boyfriend when I want it. Yeah, so, Brad, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? I kinda wanna go steal his plaid now. That's what I get for dating a farmer. What? That's what I get for dating a farmer. Now I just wanna wear all his plaid. At least he's a legit farmer and not just some hipster punk wanting to wear it. And he's ginger. <laughs> hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. 
I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> All the foreshadowing. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and, you know, that... You came, Sam. Um... He'll be a good friend. You reassure him. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need. Whenever. We're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um... I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sam, stop trying to go up the stairs. Stop it. So the only complaint I really have about this game is the camera angles. I know they're supposed to seem like a movie following them around, but it's kind of getting the... Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Okay. Playing baseball out and all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I'm sorry. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway. I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? Close that. What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Creepy. Don't move. Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. the high five that time. <laughs> that could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> I'm just just joshing you. <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. Prank him. Prank for prank. Alright, alright, your point. 30 love. What? No, we 
you get the first point? Does it start at 30? No, 15. Oh. Well, more of a ping pong gal. <laughs> more of a ping pong gal, sure. Right. Okay, so you Big boom. Two, right? Boom. Josh. What? There is a uh oh, like... creepiness. Creepy right. sounds. No, no, no. no one likes creepy Nothing sounds. regular about it. Mm, I don't want to go alone. Maybe we should go check it out. Why? What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's see what it is. Okay, creepy, creepy, creepy. creepy. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Ah! Run for it! Ah! Run! Hey. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, you just got mumped. Chris, you're an ass. What? <laughs> nice, nice one. That was good. But, but why oh. would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Oh, scary. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. <laughs> what in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. Monks is supposed to take a vow okay, of celibacy. Okay, did you at least find the thingy? TV's still freaking boing, out boing, boing, boing. in the background. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. All right? Okay. So Whatever you oh, say. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Oh my. God, what? Okay. Why are his windows boarded up? Great, great. And scary and creepy. That doesn't seem like enough. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. No. Do you share? I do. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game. Now is it? I can't help it. And now let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Mm. What do you value, Desi? Loyalty or honesty? So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? Mm. Honesty. There's a cricket bouncing around in that Charity's jar. Charity's overrated, it's really creepy I out. suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? 
Oh. Once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Hmm. Yeah. Hasn't changed much, man. It was just a prank, Han. It was just a prank, Han. Sounds dumb the second Today time. is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean I wish I could skip so much shit. to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Whoa. Is there a way to skip the... I haven't quite... I guess not. Alright, I guess. Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Did you hear that? Loud, what in unnatural God's name screeching. Are you wearing? Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. Well, watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Yes! <laughs> well, then. So, it says here to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Is that like his impression okay, of then. Aleister Crowley? Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Okay. Um... Should I be serious about this or flippant? I'm serious about it. She looks scary right now, anyways. Sure. Okay. We'll do it. Okay. Um. Is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself? It just mirrors to us? The, Does her nose look weird? You're there. She does. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Um... Let's... Well, let's find out who it is. Let's clarify. Who are you? Oh. oh. Here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Who's sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up! Ask it who's sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Hmm, let's... Should I ask for Hannah or Beth? Hannah? Okay. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh, oh God! <laughs> this is messed up. Josh? Are you... I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh? I can handle it. Okay. Um, let me think. Um, should we apologize or ask what happened? Ask what happened? All right. Anna, we miss you, and we want to know what happened to you. Can you 
Can you tell us what happened? B? E? T? R? Uh-oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K? I? L? L? E? D? No! Kill. We didn't kill them! It was just a prank! A Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just, we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry, I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Alright, so... Do we ask who killed you, or how did you die? Okay. Okay. How did you die? Hannah, what happened to you? L? I? B? The library. Maybe there's something in the library here? B? R? O? O? Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library? Watch out! Ah! <sighs> Holy shit! Creepy. Chris! This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no. You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Hey, you said that we could continue. Should we go after him? Josh. Oh, man, I'm... I mean, he'll be okay. Let's. Josh is mad. Let's just give him some time. I don't blame Can him. I hug him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking Someone, it, run after him so I can hug him. Job. I wasn't faking anything. I want to hug him. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. They have a library. Yes. <laughs> Jess. Moral of the lesson, kids: Don't mess with Ouija boards. Oh. Even if they off-brand it and call it a spirit board. Don't <laughs> do it. I haven't heard that in a while. Mike has some pretty nice one-liners. Hmm, back here. Jess? Where did you go? This is not funny. Jessica, oh come on, Jess. What's this, buddy? You in there? Oh ah! Jesus! Whoa! Christ! <sighs> I scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> what the hell is that doing in there anyway? Did you hear that? Hmm? Mike scared the blue out of his jeans. Because of this fucking thing. Yeah. Jess? Hun? Light of my life? Light of my life? I totally promise I won't murder you when I find oh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. No. <laughs> that was so good. I'm not seeing it. No, 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 no. no. You recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. <laughs> oh, come on. That's just, just that camping thing. 101. You've got to jump oh, out at somebody in the middle of the woods to scare the shit out of them. Or as you said, it scared the blue out of your jeans. Lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. <laughs> Mmm, witty. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. Okay. Sure. That's what we'll call it. Yellow. S 
something. It was too dark to really tell what that was. Alright, where are we going? Up down here. Oh, can I go over? Oh, wait. Exploring, exploring, how oh, I'd love to explore. I have no idea where we're going. Where are we even going? I think we just keep getting further and further down the mountain. Oh, we're back at the truck. Hey Jess, Jess. Look at this shit. Okay, so, going back. Onward. Onward, my noble steed. Keep going. Alright, since so we came down one way. Since we came down one way, we'll go down the other. Carving an M and an E. Any idea what that could stand for? Oh, could be any, you know, Elizabeth and, and Myron. <laughs> or maybe Michael and Emily. Relax. I just didn't realize you were so sappy. Pun intended. I'll confess, I'm a big sap. Hey, I may look like a tough and rugged, manly man on the exterior. Deep down, I'm in touch with my feelings. I'm not afraid to show a little affection now and again. Oh, yeah? Are you gonna show me some affection later? Girl, all kinds of affection. Oh, is that a check I can cash? Wink. <laughs> Let's go, Casanova. Totem. Hi, Totem. Richie. Oh, I already looked at this one. Okay. Someone screaming? No. No. Uh, probably just a squirrel. Because mm. squirrels totally make that noise. Creep town. <laughs> what? Do you hear that? No. Hello? Someone there? Why would you call that out? I'm just... Why? You know, I don't think I want to throw.
let's continue. Now that we're done being assaulted by a deer. Charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. Hmm, let's see what we got. to somebody. Ah, won't be a dick and scare her. You. Yeah, but I'm I'm the bigger man. Hey. Pick up his mask. Oh, why? It's so weird, right? It creeps me out. How did you like it? Oh my god. Oh, Mike, stop! You're lost. <laughs> cool. Can I make out? Like, oh my god, totally. I think I'm gonna finish up Mike and Jess here and then stop the stream. Until tomorrow. A couple of hours. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! The deer jumped out. What is that? What the? Ugh! What's that sound? Oh, gross. Okay. Okay then. Um, let's comfort the deer. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Ah! Oh, shit! Run! Run! Run, oh, my God, you run! What the hell was that? I don't know! Forest run! Let's go faster, must go faster, run faster, run faster, get inside, get inside, get inside. Help Jessica. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. We gotta go! I am! Get up off the floor! Mike! Get the key! Get it open! Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Hi. We're alive! That's one of those run, forest run. Yeah, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in. I promise. How can you be sure? Cause I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. No, they don't. But they know how to break it down. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you. I guess like in Canada or Alaska, or something else, like that. People that will leave door. their car doors unlocked yes, right. just for people to dive into their cars in case polar bears okay. chase them. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. <coughs> uh oh. Arr. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit dry to or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Keep things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. 
<laughs> okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. Well, it'll get so fun. demanding. So we're up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. Milady. Yes, milady. Probably. That won't surprise me. Alright, let's see. Let's turn on some mood lighting. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Alright. Mike's weird right. grabby fingers. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Let's see what's over here. Native American myths and legends. The bears, okay. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. Okay. Creepy. Oh, Jess! Look at this! Is it a fire? No, way cooler. If we scare Jess, we don't get nookie. Hey, like me now. Oh my god. Why do guns make men go completely blind? <sighs> Nothing. Gabby. Right. <sighs> She'll never understand what we have to go. No, no girl. You go back. Okay, let's see. Shit. Fuck. Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. Ink is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can you find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. okay. Wow, she's got a worse phone track oh, record than you do, Blondie. It's gotta be outside. Oh, well. Yeah. I don't think Actually, I've had my phone right now with the bear. I'm oh, so far ass here. I'm talking about your um, iPhones. Mm. How many of them did you go through? I only had two iPhones. You still went to, through two iPhones. Looky, looky. I had the three. Who's gonna and fire up some nooky? You've mm -hmm. been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Hey! What? Are you okay? What are you doing? It's... It's the light. Electrocuting myself, apparently. I the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. It's not faulty wiring. Abby's doing a meerkat. What's Unless this? you want to make out with an ice sculpture, <laughs> I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. These guys were inventive. Wow. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. Oh, Jesus. Poor me, I sold. Spencer, I'm going to slap the shit out of you, cat. Leave your sister alone. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so that's colorful language. There, Mike? Come on. <sighs> so 
I think Mike shot himself. You're lighting a fire, Michael, not writing a novel. How much longer is it gonna take you? Man one, fire. Very nice. Bravo. So what now? All right, my lady. What comes next? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, naughty. clothes what is that i don't know okay well go find out now please but hey i got jot i got just down to her brawn panties Rawr. it's your phone Look at that butt shake. Oh, fuck! Say, god damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us, and just when we were getting down to business. I think she's angry. Hey! Yeah, bricks! That means you. I know. Tell us how you really feel. Break. Young lady, we are taking you to church. <laughs> We're going to church now. Oh, shit. <laughs> After that speech, I bet she's she's church. Do you really think the girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. They sure leave us a lot of cliffhangers. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, he, he looked like he was putting it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? It's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. Damn it. Thank you. Oh, Chris. Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? She's got a really Why skinny a waist. Button? That's a is good question. Made? Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Yes, let's push the mysterious button. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Oh, that'll open. That explodes. Are we, like, in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around. Can't leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. Gee, thanks. <laughs> yep, lamb for the sacrifice. Whoa, what the? Camera. 
Okay, there's a picture of Hannah and Beth. And... What? Whoa, is this... What did you find? Whoa! I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years, 16 years, I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. <gasps> Creepy. Oh my god. Holy cow. Uh, alright, I'll be honest. No, no, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Okay. Hello, Spencer. Do you need to ask to your sister again? I was going to give you guys a Yes, let's just go into the magical door next to the Jesus portrait. What was that? Walking, walking, what could possibly go wrong? Native American stuff. Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? There was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who just got out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. Well, there was that guy I told well, you about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Coming! Hold on! Ah! Ashley! Ashley! Uh oh! Hold on. Ashley! You um gonna Ash? Ash! Hey! Well, hello! She's going somewhere. My question is, how is she not waking up? I mean, I would wake up to be dragged. to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. No. Okay. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. 
Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers okay. are important. Um. Well, I already know I like Josh. I do like Sam, but I like Josh more. Hmm. That's nice. Mm, I guess I prefer Chris more. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I like Mike. And I also like Jessica. Who would you pick? Pick one. Mike? Mike or Egg? But you were watching. Lightly. Prefer Sam. And I prefer. I guess I prefer. I guess I like Ashley more. Eh. I don't know. Ashley kind of annoys me. She whines a lot. Jessica, at least you know she's what she's like. <coughs> I prefer Jessica. So tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? I dislike Emily. Bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think what about that. Is that in is the that background? Is that like, like the like portrait of hell or something? And chains and meat no. hooks and. Well, again, I'm afraid we're out what of time. is this nonsense? We'll talk again soon. There's chains hanging from the wall, the man. Clown. The clown. Well, he's looking out the window. Why is the window boarded up? Why is the curtains messed up? It's supposed to be like a therapist's office. Ugh. Hold on! There is wondering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. Okay. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister? Josh, it's... It's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Run, Varsha! Oh my god. Well, I think I'm gonna call this stream a done. Until tomorrow. Okay. Alright. So, alrighty. That's the end of the stream. That's it.